The hotel maid that accuses Dominique Strauss-Kahn of sexually assaulting her in a Manhattan hotel room broke her silence today about the alleged attack. Her side of the story is now being revealed via exclusive interviews that allege the former IMF chief grabbed and attacked her as she begged him to stop. Motivated by defending her reputation, coupled with ensuring Strauss-Kahn is punished for sexually attacking her, Nafi Satu Diallo wants the public to know her side of the story. The ABC News and Newsweek magazine interviews mark the first time the 32-year-old Guinean immigrant has publicly spoken to the media. This after accusing Strauss-Kahn of emerging naked from the bathroom of his luxury suite on May 14th and forcing her to perform oral sex. As God is my witness, I am telling the truth, said Diallo, who is also quoted as saying, I want him to know that there are some places you cannot use your money or your power to do something like this. ABC News reported that Diallo admitted to making mistakes, but said that should not stop prosecutors from going forward. But it is those very mistakes that have cast major doubt on her credibility. She reportedly told authorities numerous lies, including fabricating a story about being gang raped in Guinea in order to gain U.S. asylum. She also changed details surrounding the Strauss-Kahn encounter following the purported assault. 62-year-old Strauss-Kahn and his lawyers adamantly deny the charges. They blasted back today accusing Diallo of looking for money and calling the interviews an unseemly circus designed to inflame public opinion. But Diallo's lawyers call the defense's conduct an unprecedented smear campaign against a victim of sexual assault. The Manhattan District Attorney's Office was considering dropping the charges against Strauss-Kahn amid Diallo's shoddy credibility. No word on whether her public interviews will make any difference.